Hello everyone. It's another beautiful, blessed day today to be in the presence of the Lord. It's always an honor to praise Him, to worship Him, to glorify Him, to shout out His holy name each and every day because we serve an awesome and amazing God. Man, I love Jesus so much, y'all. I just love praising Him. I love lifting Him up. I love praising His name each and every day regardless of what I'm going through, regardless of I'm in my storm or things might not go in my way. I always will lift his name up high. His name will always, always be on the fruit of my lips each and every day. I'm going to give him the thanks. I'm going to give him the praise. I'm going to give him the honor and the glory each and every day with all my might, heart, and soul because I am in love with Jesus. I'm always going to magnify his holy name for what he had done in my life. Praise him, y'all. Glorify him, y'all. Lift up his name each and every day. Let him know let him know how much that you love him. Let him know how much that you trust him. Let him know that he's your everything. In Jesus' name. Amen. And today, message is, what good is wealth if you don't have no understanding? See, a lot of people, they get wealth, but they don't have no understanding. You got to have understanding to learn the wealth. But some people, when they get the wealth, they try to use their own understanding. But using their own understanding, that's why they wealth always perish but when you use the understanding what the lord give you it will continue on after generation after generation but what good is wealth if you don't have any understanding and that's what we're going to be talking about today and i'm so excited to preach this word today and i hope that y'all guys and ladies i hope y'all are ready to listen to this message today amen amen and before we get started, I always like to take the time out to give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, I just can't thank you enough for this awesome and beautiful, blessed day today. I can't thank you enough for our health today, our strength today, our hearing our voice today. I just can't thank you enough that we're able to seek you in your kingdom today, to glorify you and praise and shout out your holy name today. I just can't thank you enough that we was able to wake up, you woke us up this morning. First of all, so we can get on our knees and say thank you. Second of all, so we can get on our knees to pray to you, to open up the Bible today and hear and read the word of God today. I want to thank you for everything that you have done and doing in our life today. I just want to thank you enough for your love that you say you never leave us or forsake us, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough for everything what you have done and how far you don't bought us out of our situation Jesus I just can't thank you enough for the blessing that you have prepared for every last one of your children I just can't thank you enough for the food that you have put on our table the clothes and shoes that you put on our back I just can't thank you enough because I serve an awesome and amazing God I'm always going to thank you I'm always going to praise you I'm always going to glorify and lift up your holy name each and every single day because you are so amazing, you are so loving, you are, you are so faithful. For that reason right there, I cannot thank you enough. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to get into this word. And today, I would love for y'all to turn y'all back to Psalms 49. And we're going to read verses 16 through 20. That's Psalms 49, verses 16 through 20. And if you have your Bibles open and ready to receive it, shout out amen. Amen. Let's begin. Do not be overall when a man grows rich, when the splendor of his house increases, for he would for he would take nothing with him when he dies. His splendor would not descend with him, though while he lived, he counted himself blessed. A man praise you when you prosper. He will join the generation of his fathers. Who would never see the light of life? A man who has riches without understanding is like the beast that perish. So what good is wealth if you don't have a, if you don't have understanding? What good is y'all? It don't do you no good if you don't have understanding. And I just like to go back to the beginning of the word. It said, "Do not be overall when a man grows rich." And the definition of overall means do not impress someone when they go rich. Because when you start impressing that man, right then and there, his ego starts changing. Right then and there, his head starts to swell up. 
Right then and there, he feel like he's untouchable. Right then and there, he feel like he can have any woman, he can be in any trouble or any situation. Right then and there, when you start overrounding him, that means when you start impressing him. Do not impress someone when they grow rich. Right then and there, their whole attitude and demeanor changes right then and there. That's when they say when the splendor of his house increases. So when it, when, Jesus, when God was saying when the splendor of his house increases, the reason why his house increases because you start impressing him. His head swell up. He feel like he's untouchable. He feel like he can do anything. He feel like everybody need him. He feel like everybody want him. That's when his house start increases. But if you go to the next line, 17, it said, for he will take nothing with him when he dies. His splendor will not descend with him. The reason why he feel like he gonna take, he feel like he gonna live forever. He feel like because he got riches, he feel like that money gonna buy him a one way ticket to heaven. The reason why he he think that because he don't have no understanding. And back to the point again, what is wealth if you don't have any? If you don't have any understanding, right then and now, that man don't have any understanding. And it really surprised me that Jesus used a man and not a woman. Some women go through that too. But when a man get money, I ain't say all men, but some men when they get money, their egos change. Their head swell up. They are untouched because why? So many people are impressing him. Some of his friends are impressing him. The women are impressing him. When he get that kind of attention, automatically his head starts to swell. Automatically his attitude changes towards life. But he think, he think that that money it's going to buy him a one-way ticket to heaven. The reason why he think that because he don't have any understanding. Then if you go to 18, say, though while he lived, he counted himself blessed. And men praise you when you prosper. Men do praise you when you prosper. Women praise you when you prosper. Right then he has counted himself blessed because he feel like he's on top. Right then he counted himself blessed because anything he's going through or, or he's facing, he feel like that money can buy him out of trouble. So right then and there he counted himself blessed because he feel like he's blessed. But he's blessed without understanding. He's blessed without any knowledge. Then he go to 19. He say he will join the generation of his fathers who would never see the light of life. A man, 20, a man who has riches without understanding is like the beast that perish. A man who has riches without understanding like a beast that perish. And the reason why he's going to perish because he don't, he don't have any understanding. If you don't have no understanding of the money that you just had, that you just received, or whatever, whatever that you inherit, it's going to perish. And the reason why he's going to perish because you don't have no understanding. You're trying to use your own understanding. You feel like that you're on top of the world. You feel like nobody can tell you that. You feel like you can get yourself out of any kind of situation, regardless if it's trouble. You feel like that money is going to take you to heaven. You feel like that money is going to buy you a one-way ticket out of trouble. But so many people, when they get money, it vanishes real fast. And the reason, the reason why it vanishes so fast because they have no understanding of the money. They understand the money. They feel like they on top. They feel like nobody can tell them that. Instead of getting the understanding from Jesus. When you block Jesus out of, the, out of your situation and you try to use your own understanding, that's how your money it's going to perish. And you see it today, right now today. Look at some of these football players. Right now, some of them think they on top because why? They're overall. Right now, you some people have been oppressing them. Women been oppressing them. But soon as they get hurt, and soon as the season over with, what happened? The money vanished. It perished, right? You got basketball players that do the same thing. They on top of the world. Nobody can tell them that. Women impressing them. They they friend guys impressing them. Right then and there, you can't tell them that because their head is swelled up because they don't have no understanding of all that money. When you don't have no understanding of all that money, right then and there, your head swell up. But they don't really they feel like they're going to buy their way to heaven because they got riches. They feel like they can, buy their, they can get their way out of trouble because they have money. But they don't realize with no understanding of that money, it vanished. After a couple of years they retired, what happened? It goes away, don't it? Look at the people who play the lotto. Soon they get the money. Sometimes it only be less than a year. It goes because why? Automatically, you go back to the beginning of this, of the, um, of this text. It said, "Do not 
be overall when a man grows rich. God is telling him, do not impress them. Because when you impress them, his splendor of his house increased. That means his head started to swell up. Her head starting to swell up. That's why God is telling you right now, do not overall them. When you overall them and tell them they got this, or you look good, or, or you handsome, or I want to, right then and there, their head started to swell. Everything about them started turning. Right then and there. That's where the understanding come in at. But if you don't have no understanding, the word of God says like a beast that perish. It's going to go away. It's like we turn your Bible to Matthew 19, 24. It says it's harder for a rich man to get into the heaven. Because why? Automatically, you've been impressing that rich man. Automatically, his head don't swell up. Automatically, he feel like that money is going to buy him a one-way ticket to heaven. He feel like he's going to take that money with him. Reason why he think that because he don't have no understanding of the wealth. That's why the word of God says it's hard for a rich man to enter. The, 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 um, it's hard for a man, a rich man, to enter heaven. You can look that up in Matthew 19 verse 24. It's going to tell you that. So what good is wealth if you don't have any understanding? What good is it? It won't do you no good. That's what God is saying right there. He said, "Do not override." He's telling you that for a reason. He's telling you that for, for a specific reason. Do not impress them. Do not. So what good is wealth to a person if they don't have any understanding? Some of them want to just impress so many people instead of using that money and helping out the poor and the needy. They forget about that. They forget about the time, how hard it was in their life. But once they get the money, everything changes about them. So what's good is wealth if you don't have any understanding. When you use your own understanding of wealth, it's going to perish just like the beast. But when you let God give you the understanding, that money will last generation after generation. Turn your Bible to Job 42. Look what happened to him. See, Job had understanding. That's why his inheritance lasted up, up to four generations. Why? Because he had understanding. If you can have understanding like Job, your, your wealth will last up past four generations. But when you try to use your own understanding, it's going to perish just like the beast. And that's my point. And that is my point right there. So what good is wealth if you don't have understanding? Amen. Amen. If you receive this word and message today, let's give God thanks right now. Let's give him praise. Let's give him glory. Let us have the understanding. That when Jesus blessed Job with, that's why his inheritance, that's why his wealth lasted up to four generations. We need to have understanding like that. But when you have understanding like what these men have right now, it's going to perish like the beast. Amen? Amen. And before I close, I would like to end with a prayer. Could you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into my life to take over, to guide me, direct me, and use me so I can build a relationship with you. And I believe right now in the mighty name of Jesus, by y'all praying that simple little prayer, that God is already working everything God in your life right now. And if you ever want to get in contact with me, or leave me a comment, my YouTube channel is withers.alt. I just want to let y'all know, stay blessed, continue to stay humble, continue to put your faith and trust in Jesus, and I love y'all. Stay blessed always. Amen.